All right, so we're going to look at two different ways to divide, long division and reverse tabular method, and both ways are going to give us a remainder. So this is how it looks when you divide and you get remainders. First, we'll start off with this one. When I set this guy up, I get x to the second power plus 3x plus 5. I'm dividing that by x plus 2. Now this is a review, so I'm hoping that I can go fast. Now if you guys have questions, slow me down by raising your hand, okay? x squared divided by x is x. So I'm going to put that above the x term. That's just me. I like to try to stay organized. Then I go x times x, and then x times 2. So I got to distribute. So I get x squared, and I get 2x. What am I supposed to do with these numbers after I write those down? Subtract, subtract them. So I'm going to subtract them both. So I get negative or three minus two. That's uh, just one x, and then these cancel out. One x squared minus one x squared, and then I have a plus five right here. I brought down the plus five. Now x divided by x is just a one, so I say plus one. I like putting the constant over the constant, and then one times this would just be the same thing. So I get one x plus two. When I subtract these go away because I get 0x, but I don't need to write the 0. And then I get 5, no, yeah, 5 minus 2, right? I got to subtract. So I get 3. So my, my remainder is 3. But do I bring anything else down? Nah. You say plus, and you 3 over x plus 2. That is it. That's your answer. So I'm going to put the, the 3 right here and the x and the 1. Now that's using long division. Now let's take a look at the reverse tabular method. Okay, now I like the reverse tabular method, except when you have a remainder, this part might throw you off. Some of you guys might go and switch over to long division side. We'll see. All right, so we set it up. Now the box was already set up for us. You see whatever is inside the house goes on the outside. And we, we did a lot of work setting this up in the past. So hopefully you guys can you know, can track with me right now. So I put the x squared in right there. And then I start going. I go, okay, what times x gives me x squared? X. x. So I put the x, and now I can go x times 2 to get this number, which is just 2x. And then I think, okay, what plus 2x equals 3x? I would need a 1x, right? Okay, so what times x gives me 1x? Just 1. And then I have 1 times 2. What do I get? Two. I have, so I put a 2 right here. But wait a second. That doesn't match the 5. So because um, I'm a pro at reverse tabular method and I double checked already, I know I didn't make a mistake anywhere. So that means we're going to have to go 5 minus 2. What it's supposed to be. minus what you have, what you're left with. Okay, and we get 3, which we should because it's the same problem as what we saw above. And so you write your answer out like this. So same thing. You write it out the same way. It's just a different way to get the answer. Right, you're right, because I'm actually left with uh, 3, not left with 2. So I'm going to cross this out, and let's say instead, number in box. <laughs> so there it is. There's a number in box. We have to subtract those. We get your remainder, just like we got from when we did long division.